In this section, we'll talk about the uh, different part of the diencephalon and discuss about the function of the thalamus and uh, uh, name some of the major nuclei in the thalamus and uh, describe their function. And also, we will um, uh, learn about the location of the internal capsule. Now it comes to the hypothalamus. Hypo means below. So it's below to the thalamus and uh, in this very little small area, it's packed with a lot of nucleus which very have a very extremely function for the human body. So here, this picture shows you the location of the hypothalamus. And you can see the green area is the hypothalamus. It's inferior to the anterior portion of the thalamus, which are labeled with um, blue. And, uh, and, uh, bit, and the hypothalamus is superior to the uh, pituitary gland. Um, and uh, anterior to the midbrain. And you can see the midbrain is, is, is in the left side of this picture. And uh, it's uh, located posterior to the optic chiasm. So this, this, this small area is the hypothalamus. And the major uh, feature include the hypothalamic nuclei, uh, the uh, mammillary um, uh, bodies, the infundibular stalk. Here is a picture shows you the inferior view of the uh, brain. Uh, because the uh, diencephalon located in the middle of the brain, so the hypothalamus is the only part of the diencephalon that it can be seen. Uh, in this uh, intact brain, because when you um, uh, dissect in the uh, sagittal uh, section, it, you can see the uh, the whole uh, diencephalon. But in a stacked um, instead, brain can only see the hypothalamus. So um, this uh, small area, and uh, uh, you can see the uh, purple arrow shows you the uh, mammillary bodies. The blue arrow shows you the infundibular stalk. Um, this small area is a major control center of the autonomic nervous system. Now it comes to the epithalamus. The epithalamus located posterior to the um, thalamus and um, which include uh, two structures, the pineal uh, gland and uh, the hypernular nuclei. And uh, you can see there are two pictures. The left picture shows you uh, from the sagittal section. Um, the right side will be the anterior, the left side will be the posterior. The uh, red part, the red color part will be the epithalamus. Uh, so you can see the pineal gland and the hypernular nucleus. And uh, the, right, the picture in the right side shows you from the posterior view of the brainstem the, and the thalamus. You can see the uh, pineal gland in the middle and the, the hypernular nucleus in the lateral, on the lateral side of the uh, pineal gland. The pineal gland is a um, small P-shaped gland in the brain, and um, uh, because they're 
function is still uh, not fully understand, but we know that uh, this uh, gland could secrete um, melatonin and it has a relationship with the uh, sleep wake cycles. And uh, because the pineal line is located in the um, midline of the uh, uh, brain, so sometimes uh, uh, the doctor will use this um, pineal line to locate it to see the midline of the uh, of the uh, as a landmarker for the midline of the brain. The habenula nuclei uh, was thought, the researchers think uh, it play a role in a, um, in like reward value to the uh, stimuli. So um, it can also like explain is how much a person will enjoy uh, a stimuli. So uh, lack of the, uh, having, uh, the the activity of this nuclei will may uh, play a role in depression. The uh, subthalamus uh, we can only see we cannot see in the uh, sagittal section. So here is two uh, here here two uh, coronal section of the brain. Uh, you can see the uh, subthalamus located inferior to the thalamus and uh, lateral to the hypothalamus, and medial to the uh, midbrain um, cerebral peduncles. So uh, this part actually is an extension of the midbrain tegmenta. Remember, we talk about the uh, the uh, brainstem. The posterior part is a tegmentum. Um, so part of this uh, uh, neural uh, circuit that helps control the movement. So uh, the largest component of the diencephalon is the thalamus. So the thalamus in Greek means inner chamber because uh, this part um, located in, in the center of the cerebrum and uh, which infer to the body of the lateral ventricle and uh, it's um, an uh, include a lot of uh, nucleus and uh, the shape just uh, looks like an egg in the center of the um, cerebrum. The uh, asamas actually uh, were composed by a lot of uh, nucleus, and uh, uh, this nucleus can anatomically categorize in uh, groups, uh, which include the uh, medial group, uh, and the lateral group and the anterior group, uh, which are shows in the uh, uh, picture uh, in the bottom. So uh, the uh, this uh, ma three major groups are separated by a Y-shaped white matter structures. We call this internal medullary lamina. So the researchers uh, uh, think that the anterior region, uh, which is the red part, uh, deal with this, um, with memory. The medial part, the uh, uh, blue part, will be deal with the emotion. The lateral region, which uh, subdivide into different uh, groups. Uh, this uh, due rates, uh, the sensory and motor functions. So this form gives you a summary about the lateral region, lateral group of the uh, salamas. So the uh, ventral uh, posterior lateral nucleus, the BPL, uh, the function of this 
uh, nucleus, uh, they relay the sensory information from body to the cortex. And if uh, uh, there's a lesion for this part, uh, the patient will loss of sensation on the contralateral side of the body. Uh, the nucleus in the ventral posterior medial nucleus that will be the VPM. Uh, the function of this group of nucleus uh, are relay sensory information from head to cortex. So uh, lesion of this part will cause loss of sensation on contralateral side of the head. There are another two uh, structures uh, here in, on the uh, thalamus. You can see that is the lateral geniculate nuclei and the medial geniculate uh, nucleus. These nuclei are associated with visual and auditory informations, and uh, we will talk about it in the latter part. So the uh, uh, LG and the lateral geniculate nucleus uh, damage will cause uh, cortical blindness. The uh, medial geniculate nucleus will, um, damage will cause the uh, cortical deafness. So the function of the thalamus is just like a switchboard for the brain. Nearly all the input, which include the sensation, motor, emotion, memory, uh, arousal, and attentions uh, to the uh, cerebrum, first synapse on the neurons in the uh, thalamus. And um, the neurons in the thalamus give or project axons to all area of the uh, cerebral cortex. And uh, also the uh, some of these um, um, axons or reciprocal uh, feedback from the cortical neurons also goes to the uh, thalamic neurons. So the most uh, important function of this uh, thalamus is the uh, relay information from a different part of this um, uh, central nervous system uh, to the uh, uh, cerebral cortex. And it, it's, it's a gateway for the information. Uh, goes to before it goes to the cortex and also it receives a lot of information from different area. Uh, but uh, the olfactory system is an is exception. It didn't go relay uh, information by the thalamus. Another function for the thalamus is to like decide what information is sent to the cortex um, and what is not. Um, the relay or the uh, thalamic input to the uh, cerebral cortex could be uh, specific. Uh, this uh, information that is given to the uh, from the thalamic tick nucleus can pass on accurately to the cortex, uh, or it can be a regulatory. Um, so uh, that will contribute to the decision making, like which of this information could um, lives are given by the thalamic nucleus. So because uh, they have uh, different functions, uh, the thalamic nucleus can also be grouped into two categories that will be the relay nucleus and the association nucleus. Uh, the blood supply of the thalamus, uh, most from the uh, posterior cerebral artery and posterior communicating artery, uh, this will, will uh, talk in the latter part of this in this semester. And uh, if this um, artery was um, congest or occluded by uh, some reason, it can cause a stroke. So because um, the thalamus have very important function, it's a center of uh, or relay center of the uh, 
um, several uh, these informations, and uh, a small part of this stroke or lesion in the thalamus can produce a very large symptoms. The um, result from uh, the syndrome result from a stroke. Uh, could include an alternation of the uh, sensory perceptions. The syndrome uh, could have like uh, salamic pain um, and uh, can have this uh, hemi uh, anesthesia, which means the loss of sensation on one side of the body or like sensory ataxia, uh, which means a, a loss of the proprioception. Could uh, this could lead to like in in coordinate movement? Uh, now let's talk about the internal capsule. The internal capsule actually is a um, uh, a compact bundle of the uh, nerve fibers is the axons of the neural cells. So it's a white matter in the central nervous system. This uh, internal capsule uh, connect the cortex and the subcortical structures. So uh, for example, you have the, you know that you have fibers connect with the thalamus to the cortex and you have the cortex to the thalamus and then the cortex to the brainstem or the spinal cord. They all pass through this uh, internal capsule. So from this picture on the left side, uh, which shows you um, the, a slide, a cross section of the uh, brain, and you can see the different the presental gyrus and uh, there are a lot of nerve fibers come from the cerebral cortex and passing down or passing up these nerve fibers. Um, when they're passing through the thalamus and the uh, basal ganglia, and it forms uh, a, a, a V-shape. If you see the right side, that is a, a cross section or horizontal section of the brain. And you can see the dark park, park in the middle side is the thalamus. And the latter side you have, you see the basal ganglion. Between this, uh, um, the caudate nuclei and the uh, uh, thalamus and the uh, lati lati uh, uh, lentiform nucleus, and it have a V-shape, which open to the lateral side. This V-shape is the location of the internal capsule. So this picture shows you the V-shape uh, structure we, we, I just uh, talked about. Uh, this uh, uh, internal capsule include uh, different part. You have this uh, anterior limb and uh, posterior limb and the genu. Actually, the internal capsule uh, include uh, five parts. Besides the anterior, posterior limb, and the genu, uh, it have uh, uh, the two other parts, which, which are the uh, ritual lenticular part and the sublenticular part, um, uh, which uh, connect uh, associate with the medial geniculate body and the lateral geniculate body uh, and have the relationship with uh, the visual and auditory information. What we should know about the internal capsule, the very important point is that nearly all the fibers travel between the cortex and the subcortical structures. Uh, Will, try, will pass the internal capsule. So a small lesion, because this is a very narrow uh, area, so small lesion in this uh, internal capsule can create a very serious uh, deficit.
The pathways uh, passing through the internal ca capsule include the uh, thalamal cortical tract, the cortical thalamic tract, and cortical pontian tract, uh, cortical uh, bulbar tract, and the cortical uh, spinal tract. So uh, there is a term you should know is a uh, corona radiata. So the internal capsule, when they pass through the, uh, after they pass through the internal capsule, it forms a fine, a fine uh, shaped uh, structure. Um, it's just uh, superior to the internal capsule. So again, a uh, small effect in the internal capsule can cause very major consequences.